This is a very quick video about my solder paste setup. Uh, I use a solder paste dispenser, a pneumatic solder paste dispenser. A couple of people on my previous video remarked, uh, what is this? How does it work? Because one of the things I showed was that when I press my foot pedal, a pump starts. That's a bit unusual for solder paste dispensers. Usually, a solder paste dispenser uses a big vat, like a 10 liter vat of compressed air and a pump that periodically, when the pressure goes below a certain point, um, that like tops up the pressure. This one actually does it on demand. And one of the reasons why I did that is because I didn't want a high pressure vessel in my workspace. And also because it kind of takes a long time before it's, it's up to pressure. And sometimes I can leave this for two months without using it and then I use it a whole day and then I get this the, the very annoying noise of a pump running continuously for a minute while I'm doing precision work. So uh, I wanted something more convenient and um, I kind of customized this myself. So at the basis of all of this is just a regular solder paste dispenser. You can get these on eBay. I paid about uh, 80 euros I think back in the day. This is three-ish years old now. And this is just a standard solder paste dispenser with a couple of modifications. So how solder paste dispensers work is um, here I have my own like custom power supply. That's a bit strange. Um, there's a small control PCB. There's an air pressure and a solder paste dispensing time uh, knob. These, this is just a potentiometer. And this is like a mechanical valve or mechanical pressure regulator. This is a valve that is actuated to uh, to let the air pressure into the nozzle. And this is the high pressure input. And this is the nozzle output. So what happens when I press my pedal is when I press the pedal down, the pump starts pumping and building up pressure which I can see in this gauge. Then when I release the pedal, this valve actuates for as much time as I've set here with this potentiometer. This allows me to very accurately uh, set the pressure that I want to build up and the amount of time that that is being dispensed. So this is actually a way to very accurately dispense uh, solder paste because I have full control over pretty much all the variables using just one foot pedal input and I have my hands free to do whatever I need to do. Now there's one last thing in the solder paste dispenser that is a bit weird and that is there is a large three cell lithium ion battery here and only a very tiny 12 watt power supply. Uh, usually these things run on a, there's like a small transformer here that provides, I think it's something like 15, volts, something between 12 and 15 volts to mostly actuate just this. It's a very uh, low power thing. Uh, but obviously that big pump that I have, uh, it's, it's one of those um, handheld bicycle tire or car tire pumps. Now that actually draws about 180 watts. So uh, this power supply cannot supply 180 watts for more than like one millisecond. So uh, you need something else. So actually what I'm doing is when I press the foot pedal, I uh, have a couple of MOSFETs here that actuate that uh, or that switch the power from the battery to the uh, pump. And that's actually the battery is what provides the power and then the power supply uh, recharges the battery through a charge controller. And then here underneath is my pump. And as you can see, it's basically just a box. <laughs> Uh, what I've done there is I, um, uh, this is just a wooden box that I screwed to the bottom of my desk. And the reason for that is that that, that pump, obviously it's kind of loud, kind of annoying, especially when it's completely in open air. It is, uh, it, it makes this poof, poof, poof sound, which is very grating. So what I've done is I've um, put the pump in that box and then just sprayed it full of polyurethane uh, sound damping material 
and that reduces the sound considerably like it is bearable now it's still kind of annoying because the um, when the valve actuates there's still a very large kachunk and a pff sound which especially the girlfriend doesn't really like but otherwise it's uh, fairly quiet and it's much better than uh, a normal pump and pressure container setup so I hope this uh, video was of use for people who would like to do like small series manufacturing uh, or prototyping and just have like an easier way to apply solder paste. Uh, I highly recommend this kind of setup. It's, uh, it's very convenient.